The UK government owns vast areas of forests right across Britain. Some earn money through selling timber, but many others are quite simply popular visitor attractions for walkers, cyclists and nature lovers. The forests are managed by an agency known as the Forestry Commission, which also plays an important role in protecting the landscape and preserving wildlife. This is one of the most famous stretches of woodland in Britain. This is Sherwood Forest near the city of Nottingham. Legend has it that this is where Robin Hood and his band of outlaws lived, where they robbed the rich to give to the poor. The fear is that if tracts of land like this are sold off, the rich might gain, but the rest of the population would be the poorer. Oh, for us, we use it all the time. It's really useful. It's local, uh, and we get a pass every year, so it's really cheap for us as well, uh, and the kids love it. Many environmentalists fear that land sold to private companies or individuals could be built over or developed into holiday parks, and vital national assets could be lost. We have a, a very valuable national resource uh, that does bring in money. It does help uh, engage people with the countryside and with the environment. Uh, it does act as a, a massive carbon sink. This is something that's worth preserving and worth enhancing. Millionaire entrepreneur Felix Dennis is one of Britain's biggest owners of private woodlands. He's buying up vast areas of farmland and planting them with only native British species in order to return the countryside to how it looked many years ago. For him, trees are a passion. He writes poetry about them. He believes selling off government-owned forests could be a good thing. Who is going to protect these woods that are sold? If they are protected, properly protected, then there's no reason in the world why private, uh, you know, private enterprise and charities, my own charity, shouldn't buy some of this land, give the government the money, and we will look after it better than the government ever could. The government says that despite the sell-off, it will ensure that forests continue to play a full role in many aspects of British life. But many conservationists are highly sceptical. Harry Smith, Al Jazeera, Sherwood Forest.